TV event coverage presented by SCT Performance. It takes a lot to get a twin turbo 10.5W car down the track straight every time. And one of those guys that does a pretty good job with it is Tim Essick. But Tim, MIR, the last race, we saw something kind of unsuspected happen with your vehicle. Yeah, I've been in this car for a long time and know it, feel it, know what's going on. And I just, I hit a, a slick spot in the track and before I knew what was going on, it was sideways. So uh, it was just a matter of trying to keep it from hitting too hard, trying to recover it, but didn't have enough track. And but how fast were you going that point in the track? When I lifted, it was probably doing about 150. I scrubbed off some speed before I hit the wall, but I would say I probably hit it at least 70, 80 mile an hour. Now we see that you patched the frame rail on the right side, the bumper still on the back shows a little bit of wear. Did it tweak the, the frame at all? No, not much. Everything behind the firewall was just fine. It was just basically in front of the motor plate. It tore up that frame rail pretty good. Uh, but you know we were able to leave most or half of that rail up to the motor plate and just subbed in uh, new stuff from the front end. And uh, it, it took a good bit on the frame machine, but luckily I do that for a living, so it worked out good. A lot of people go, well, he's probably had you know a few weeks to get the car back together, but no one really knows how much time you, it goes into actually rebuilding a race car or even building a new car from scratch. You guys were working on this thing all the way up till Friday, driving here for the race. Yeah, we worked uh, every day for, you know, if I wasn't at work, regular work, we were working on it till 10, 11, sometimes 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we worked Friday morning until 6 a.m., loaded it, started it. That was the first time we started it, drove it in the trailer and on our way to Illinois. So uh, once once we got here, we still had to mount some tires, change a rotor, all the stuff that didn't make it to the shop in time, we had to do here. And we had a whole bunch of people pitch in and get that done. So we were able to make a little shakedown pass and make it for a second round of qualifying, which was good. You know, found a couple little bugs issue with some tubes, stuff like that, and got it fixed and got ready for third round of qualifying. Well, hopefully Tim Messick's got enough of bad luck behind him, and hopefully the rest of his weekend will look good and maybe find himself in the finals.